They are members of the most studied population of wild dolphins in the world. In 1970, scientists at Moat Marine Laboratory began monitoring the 150 or so bottlenose dolphins that make Sarasota Bay their year-round home. They've documented the animals' lives and the lives of their children and their children's children. They've studied how they behave and how they communicate and how they interact. And along the way, they've also learned something about us and how what we do impacts the bay. Contaminants, including pesticides and heavy metals known to be dangerous to humans, are being found in dolphin tissue samples. The scientists have also found traces of now outlawed PCBs. These chemicals have been banned for decades, but they're very persistent in the environment. They come into the bay through the creeks and the streams, they come through the atmosphere, they work their way up through the food chain, through the shrimps, into the fish, into the dolphins, and once they accumulate in the dolphins, they cause health and reproductive effects. Female dolphins pass on the contaminants to their nursing offspring. Research shows that calves born to first-time mothers are less likely to survive, and most scientists believe that contaminants may be part of the reason. Because our area's human population has more than doubled in the 40 years these dolphins have been studied, the impact of what we do is magnified for the creatures with whom we share Sarasota Bay.